Okay, so a, a low blood count applies typically to the, the cells in our blood, and usually we group these into three, the white cells, and there's typically five different types within the white cells, the red cells, um, which um, gives us hemoglobin, and the platelets. So low blood count is um, the hemoglobin, the white cells, or one of the five separate types, uh, or, or the platelets being um, below what we call the lower limit of a reference range. So a reference range is where most patients will um, be on, on a scale, um, uh, but we've got to be cautious there because um, a low blood count is not always abnormal. Some people may have their own blood count, which is normal for them, but is lower than most people. So we have to be a little careful in uh, uh, um, explaining what low blood counts mean. Okay, so there's lots of causes of low blood counts because there's different blood counts that can be low, um, but um, often uh, a, a sort of what we call a reactive process in the body or inflammation can lead um, to blood counts being low. Um, sometimes infection can cause blood counts to be low. Um, uh, medications, drugs, or maybe toxins the patients um, exposed to, other medical conditions, particularly immune conditions. Sometimes um, the factory that makes the blood, which is the bone marrow in adults, um, dominantly, um, uh, may go a bit wrong, and that can be due to a sort of primary disorder in the bone marrow, or due to the influence of these other factors on the bone marrow production um, apparatus. So um, sometimes there can be a, if you like, a failure of the factory, the bone marrow, to produce enough of this, the, the blood count so that it's low, or sometimes the body can destroy those um, blood counts um, through sort of immune process and breakdown processes that go a bit wrong, or sometimes there's not enough of the, the ingredients for the blood counts, um, such as vitamin deficiencies. So there's lots of different causes to be anemic, which is low red cells, or have low white cells, or to have uh, low platelets. So um, symptoms of low blood count include those sort of specific to the type of blood count that's low. So um, if it's the red cells and it's low, patients are anemic and they can feel tired, they can feel very washed out, lacking energy, they can feel fatigued, um, shortness of breath and exertion. If they have um, low white count, they may have a predisposition particularly to infection. So they may get recurrent or serious or unusual um, infections. Um, and if something called platelets are low, they may find that they are easy, easy bruising, sort of spontaneous bruising or um, easy bleeding or heavier than normal bleeding. Um, it, it, it sometimes is serious and often is not. Um, so uh, occasionally um, uh, low blood counts can be serious because if these blood counts are very low, then patients may have a high risk of bleeding um, with low platelets. If their hemoglobin is very low, then they may be quite unwell with their anemia. And if their white cells are very low, then they may be at risk of um, sort of getting um, serious infections quickly. But um, most of the time, um, low blood counts are not serious. They're mild to moderately low, and um, we can manage them very well. And even when they're um, very low and potentially serious, we can typically um, uh, investigate, find a cause because there may be a treatable cause, or if there's no obvious cause, manage the effects of those um, low blood counts. Um, the short answer um, to does a low blood count also require treatment is no. Um, the longer answer is um, uh, uh, often they do need some sort of management. Um, um, so uh, uh, treatment is obviously a, a part of management. So treatment may require, um, for example, low blood count. Sometimes we give blood back to patients. So for example, if a patient has low red cells, they're anemic, they might need a red cell blood transfusion. It comes from a donor. Um, and I encourage everyone, if, they, if they're able to consider blood donation to support that aspect of patient care. Um, if the platelets are low, we can sometimes give a transfusion of platelets, which is another bit of blood taken from a blood donation. Um, so they're, they're sort of replacements. And um, sometimes we give injections to boost the, the white cell counts and um, treatment may be 
applied to the cause of the low blood counts. Sometimes it's replacing iron. So someone may be iron deficient. We would investigate to find out causes of that. That may be treatment, but they need iron, may need iron tablets. Um, they may need vitamin replacement, something called vitamin B12 and folic acid may be replaced. So um, th there are lots of different presentations of low blood counts that may need managed. They sometimes need treatment, and that treatment is very dependent on our investigation for potentially causes of those blood counts. Um, okay, so lifestyle changes regarding low blood counts improve the condition. Um, uh, again, low blood counts, there's different types. Um, patients who have uh, low white cells, we often, um, uh, if they're sort of severely low and that patient is at risk of infection, we will often um, give advice um, and education to the patient to try and minimize the risk of infection. So it's such advice is um, if you're feeling unwell, you have a temperature or you have symptoms suggestive of infection, you should have immediate doctor review and we often have um, support system. We build in support systems in place for that. Um, uh, patients who have um, the low platelet count, for example, who are at risk of bleeding, we will um, educate them to sort of avoid situations where they might get bleeding. If they're going to the dentist, for example, we'll do a bit of preparation there. So it's being aware of these things and having the education advice from the, the hematology team managing them. Them. And um, for example, if the red cells are low, which is anemia, um, we will often um, uh, need to um, uh, perhaps uh, improve whatever aspect is causing that anemia. It may be dietary advice. So sometimes people um, have, have a, a dietary deficiency um, that leads to uh, an anemia. So that, that there may be, um, as it were, lifestyle changes there that are needed to, to improve um, uh, that part of the condition. So there's various aspects to lifestyle that can be applied in addition to treatments and, and other management for low blood counts.